Hi, this is David with eminitradingstrategies.com. In this video, I'd like to introduce my Dow eMini trading strategy, which is a derivative of my eMini S&P strategy, which I teach in my Tick Trader Day trading course. If you've been following my blog or been reading my site, you know that I generally trade for daily income off the S&P 500 by making one point profit a day. And I continue doing that every day, but this Dow strategy is a little something extra that I've been working on. I've been testing the strategy with real money for over 18 months and I now feel confident in releasing this as an, as an add-on to my tick trader course. Now remember a tick in a Dow is worth five points, a little bit different. So 10 Dow ticks is equivalent to one S&P point. Now I'm also using Pro Indicator version 2 on my screen and I use Pro Indicator version 2, it shows my normal system entries, it shows my profit targets, and it also shows me my entry zones as well. Now right up there you see that green, I'm sorry, that uh, red dot there, that was a short trade. We didn't want to take that trade as it was just before a report. I don't like to trade reports, so I definitely would not take that trade. Even though it was a winning trade, it made some profit, I do not take those trades. And uh, here's the NSC right there, and here's my profit targets, and these lines right there are where I want to enter. So we'll probably pause the video here. We're getting ready for a long NSC, but I want to keep this video short, so I will go ahead and pause the video until we get our long NSC. Okay, we're back. We're long at 445. You'll notice my fill is just below that line. That's where I want it. I've got three profit objectives up there. So I could scale out of these trades if I want. I'm trading live just two contracts. I'm using a 25 tick profit with a 25 tick stop loss. Let me move this dome here so you can see my stop loss here. So 25 ticks and 25 ticks. Goal here is to get my stop loss up as soon as possible. So once I see 10 ticks of profit on this trade, which of course it's going against us about four ticks, but when and if I see 10 ticks of profit, I'll start moving my stop loss up. So if this trade were to go against me, I wouldn't lose that much on a trade. Now I don't hit a lot of trades that lose a full 25 ticks. I know that's a concern to some say 25 ticks. It's a pretty big stop loss. We seldom lose 25 ticks on a trade as we will normally see the 10 ticks needed to start moving up our stop loss. So very important to understand that. And I move my stop loss normally just under my signal bar, one or two ticks below my signal bar, and then I just keep taking it up and taking it up. And I see 15 ticks, I'll move it up even more. And if it's a strong day, strong market, I can even go for more target. I routinely can make 20, 30, 40 ticks trading the strategy. So trade's just going to cook here. We'll probably pause here in a little bit, but it's worth noting right there is the NSC, by the way, and that's where I would put my stop loss after when and if the market moves five ticks in my favor. Now an experienced trader can use both my S&P system and my Dow system to realistically earn 100 to 200 bucks per day per contract. Okay, one of the strategies I teach in my tick trader course is chop money trading, where you trade for more than one point a day. You know, let's actually get ready to pause this video. We're going to get low on time, so I will pause the video and then we'll come back here and talk more about that. Okay, we're back. We're about ready to move uh, our stop loss. We're about ready to see a 10 tick target. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and put our stop loss up here to about 31, which is right just below my normal, my, right where I entered uh, my normal system entry signal bar. And if it moves up even more, I'll take my profit up even higher. Now notice right up here we're about at the high of the day where I had my mouse at 459. So all right, let's move our stop up some more. Let's take it up eh, about five ticks to the good. We've had a big move up, right? We could jump off with income. We got 16, 17, 18 ticks. 
two contracts, very nice income, but the Dow tends to move slower and trends longer, so trying to grab 25 ticks or even more is very plausible. So it moves up some more, we'll take our stop loss up some more and see if we can hit a full 25 tick. As it is right now, if it moves down against me, we would get stopped off with a small loss. I've got 20 ticks of profit in there, I could get some more, but I really want to get the full 25. So let's move our stop loss up. So now if it comes down, we're going to take a, a winner if it moves against us, but we're open here to take the full 25 ticks. And we're right up at the high again, so it's going to have to break the high by a couple ticks. I could scale out here. Look at that, we're already off. I could have scaled out, but being at the high of the day, probably going to see a little bit of resistance. So pretty good trade. We made 25 quick ticks off the Dow. Thanks for watching.